Greetings, everybody. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to episode 12 of the Syntusian Imperium, which originally streamed live on Twitch. I'm going to ask this question again, because a bunch of their ships are now missing. They're MIA for a bit. Because they were trying to use my territory as a highway, and I just slammed it shut on their face, and they're kind of stuck in substate space, floating back to their... Um, their dry docks. So there's a little opportunity where they really don't have their complete fleet for a bit. So I could attack now, I could wait. It does look like the um, 001s, I don't see their fleets. So their fleets are either a skeleton, a skeleton, or they're blown up. They've been destroyed. I'm not sure which. But um, thank you for noticing the uh, uh, tannering. Thank you for noticing all their stupid fleets floating through my space because. That is a pretty hilarious opportunity to just screw with them, even if it isn't to be taken advantage of in war. It looks like you guys want to attack now. I'm going to um, change this timer to one minute timer, and we'll. Uh, I'm going to slow down the game a little bit. So the opportunity to use this situation to our greatest benefit doesn't uh, escape us, elude us. Kakata, thank you for the bits, and Happy New Year to you too. Someone else asked it earlier? I missed it. Sorry. When it was asked. Alright, Zach is almost done refitting. Almost, almost. We grow ever stronger. Uh, Xart's shipyard start is ready for shipyard. Ships ready for action. I've lost 15 years in the shave. I know, I'm so young. All right, let's uh, let's do this. Brace for collision. It's off to war with us. All right, jerky boys. Let's dance. Undry docking my fleet <laughs> dropped my alloys pretty hard, so I gotta be uh, cautious of that. These ships were done upgrading. Yeah, they finished just just as I declared war. So, retake Cetus. Here we are. I'd also like to take other border gore like Skyra, Randalthor, Cosalite. You know that that's that's on my radar for sure. It's just I have a priority. Get the homeworld. Uh, my army should follow my navy, and my navies should follow the slowest mover, so they don't split up. So right now on my border, they have about uh, 2,500 fleet strength. Not insignificant, but not super, super scary. Uh, let me also change this shipyard back to a gun battery. It's not going to become a star hold in time, but... Um, But yeah, for Cetus. I cannot wait to change the governor. I don't think there's probably any survivors left there, but I do get to purge them back. So, I don't know, that feels pretty good. It would be wonderful if... Um... Oh, another asset to use against the Themlar. Holy cow, I have so many assets against them now. Look at this. Jesus. It'd be great if I could form a defensive pact with these guys. But they're they're not... Let me try to start improving my relationship with them. See if I can't turn that around. Because they're, they're a pretty powerful... Well, before I do that, hold on. Who is the strong... Yeah, they're one of the strongest. The High Kingdom of... Quas Donalini or whatever, and the these guys are like number one and number two. So these two are the strongest forces in the galaxy, other than the um, other than the Fallen, of course. I haven't even met one of the Fallen Empires. I only I have only met one of two. So there's a Fallen Empire somewhere in here, uh, that I have not yet uh, made contact. Hey, buddy.
Sabotage a starbase or hire privateers? Uh, yeah, I could try that. I could try to, um, let's see what I could do. I can't really, I can't really afford very much. I could save up for arming privateers. So, um, so the first question I guess what I'll pull is, should I do an operation against Themlar? Yes or no? And then if so, I'll have you vote on which ones. Keeping in mind that um, they cost a significant portion of my energy credits, so it's not free. Operations have to be backed economically. Right, I think I'm going to try to have Poetic Artist... Uh, scoot through Research enemy territory complete. to get over there. Actually, for some reason or another, I can't get to Desolate. It's really strange. See? It's just, like, literally not letting me. It's very odd. Alright, never mind. Poetic, you stay there. Uh, additional building slots just got done. Maybe Space Doctrine. Yeah, they have um, star bases that are preventing space travel. Yeah, I think you're right. They must. Here we go. We're almost at uh, Cetus. Almost at Cetus. And if it's a tie... Here, let me put up the timer. If it's a tie, I'll just flip a coin. Like I normally do. Leaving the fate of our empire to a coin toss. Is that healthy? All right, here we are. We have to bust through our own shipyard, which kind of hurts because it's a uh, it's a tough one. Ever stronger. I think they turned it into a bastion in our uh, absence, which is rough. Got a light show. Hey! CK Hawk, happy 2022 to you too. Coin flip. Heads will be yes, tails will be no. It is heads, so. Uh, let's vote on the operation that we're doing. What up to run? Um, Steel Tech, Sabotage Starbase, or Arm Privateers? It's in uh, descending or ascending order of um, expense. So uh, privateers cost eighteen hundred, starbase costs a thousand, and tech costs eight hundred. How defended is Cetus Prime? No armies. Okay, let's land. And then I'm gonna get back to Small Street as fast as I can, so that I'm not leaving it uh, un or under defended. We grow ever stronger. We have taken their planet. Oh, Seize their credits. Yeah, what's going on? Set rights, citizenship, undesirables, purge type, displacement. Because I don't allow other purge types. Uh, how many of them uh, are we? Okay, so there's there's a few left that are alive as a result. 
And now we have our homeworld. So now what I want to do is I want to protect my border and solve some of the border guard that I have. We grow ever That's stronger. my priorities. So the border guard would be Cosalite, Randall Thor, Skyra Greystorm, and maybe Othir. I'll, I'll actually take as much of the territory from them as possible uh, that, that they took from zero, zero 001. <laughs> But I'm going to send my fleets uh, to repair because I, I got banged up a little bit. And then my armies should follow my navies. And then I have some debris for shields and stuff here. Um, you know, they they upgraded this to a Starhold for free. I didn't do that. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, I can dismantle some of their buildings, though, because I don't need these buildings. I'll just save myself the energy credits. I don't know if it's viable to try to take theirs. Uh, but it looks like their fleets are mostly deployed in the east. So, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, looks like you guys want privateers. I don't have anywhere near the money for that, though, right now. So, it's going to be going to be a minute. And another faction has been founded by Nightbot again. So, I bet it's just materialists again. Yeah. Uh, yep. And the Baldrank is announcing... Stuff. I don't know. Yeah, they're just having fun in their own personal upheavals. Matching our own, I suppose. We grow ever stronger. Let's get another trade hub here if I can afford it. Now that I've fixed a lot of my border gore, we can get uh, more trade from uh, Lost Sip or whatever it's called. So there's a lot of crime here from Pops. Wow, there's a lot of people. Wait, what the heck? Why is there so many people at Setus Prime? Uh, I'm going to save and load. There's something wrong. It, honestly, Stellaris is usually not this buggy. I don't really know what's going on. Okay, yeah. So it went from 50 pop to 12 pop. No, no, there's... Oh, those are jobs. I'm just a moron. Never mind. Uh, ignore me. Uh, yeah. So what's going on here is there's a lot of built-up infrastructure that isn't being used because people don't exist to use it. So I'm going to save myself some of the Empire Sprawl by breaking down some of these uh, job facilities that literally no one is even around to, to work at. Um, And that will help my Empire Sprawl come back down. And yeah, I will at some point have to rebuild this stuff. Uh, but we that's that's fine. Stronger. I'd rather have a not overrun Empire Sprawl. So, what do you guys think? Uh, should I? I attack at the heart of Themlar or fix the border gore. It'll be up to you. Maybe um, just put a one minute timer on this. So I have a I have a chance to maybe push straight to Themel and to do something about their homeworld. 
I don't know how easy it's going to be, but it seems open briefly, but they are starting to put fleets uh, at repo. So they're very quickly going to start um, grabbing my eastern te uh, territories. That's for sure. I know that because I can I can see that currently happening. Um, so what do you guys feel? What's uh, what's more more important? Trying to strike um, strike a, a, a sound blow against them, or to uh, to defend my territories? Oh my goodness! Economy totally destroyed. Oh, uh, one thing that I could help is if I could throw a governor in here. If I could afford a governor. Let me see about that. Because the... The system was ungoverned. An, ag an agrarian governor. That feels so weird. Attacking their homeworld. Alright, let's, uh, let's do that then. Uh, what I think I'm gonna do is gonna have these guys repair at, uh, Small Street Station, and then start to go to Tau Ceti and Themel. Their fleets right now are over here in Eskelion, so they do have a fleet in Repo, but that Repo fleet is pretty far from being able to be effective against me, because they're just, they're just not where they need to be. So because they're so dramatically Our out of position, there's a chance to punch a big ol' hole at the heart of their empire. So that's, that's what we're gonna try to do. Do they have any other planets? They have uh, plenty of other planets, yes. They have Tau Ceti, they have Grokken, uh, they have uh, whatever that is that looks Welsh or something. Uh, and then they have Tubrick. So they've got lots and lots and lots of other planets, but uh, hitting their homeworld is going to hurt them the most, I think. All right, my fleets are actually repairing for once. Our star base is lost. That's a uh, repo. It just got lost. And these guys are almost fully repaired, ready to go. Hey, Heavy Lift Gaming. We Happy New Year to you too. Stronger. What just got passed? Uh, collective waste management. That was here. That's fine. Alright, let's go to Tau City. See what kind of damage we can do to these idiots. Oh, you know, it looks like 001 is fully invaded. They just haven't, um... Land home. A new colony is on They haven't way. lost the territories yet, but um, they, 001 doesn't control any of their own planets anymore. Or solar systems. They have zero solar system control over the planets that exist. So these are the only systems they have left, and these are invaded. Sucks to be them. I have zero sympathy. They were jerks. Worthless jerks. Fleet engaged. Give them a broadside. All right, I'll, I'll take a look at that fight in just a second. Oh, geez, that is a tough starbase. That's this is gonna suck. That's a 4.5k starbase. Where the hell are you going? Oh my good, what are you doing? What? Uh, why are you flying away? Fly towards the enemy. That is how naval combat works. We grow ever Are you done being stronger. weird? Okay, yep. Every now and then you just have to kind of reboot and make them not commit suicide. Uh, so if the starbase here at Tau Ceti is that tough, my guess is the Themlar one is going to be really ridiculous too. My goodness, Remorix. Back to the pink cam. <laughs> Just stay here at Pink Cam for a long time. You're now gifting out a small we percentage of all of Twitch. Stronger. Getting subs for me. <laughs> Fish got scared. Uh, I guess. Well, one of the positives is uh, now that we own this station, that's another bastion between us and uh, 
enemies. And Lord Nakorm is going to be easy to invade because there's only four defenders, or two defenders. Uh, the thing is, I'm going to need to replace... I'm going to need to replace the ships that are lost, and I really don't have the economy to do that. Fine. Border closed to you too. The Union of MAGA. That's a name. Jesus. Heavy lift, thanks for the resub too. And Destiny OG. <laughs> my uh my newest Discord friend. Welcome. Our landing party has reached enemy shores. So here's us uh invading. How does it feel? How is it wow, they have terrible stability. Terrible stability. They are not governing their planets at all. Well, I guess they're fanatical, purifying, hive-minded murderers, so Rentering. yeah, they don't make for good governors. My loyal crew. Well, I have good news and bad news. The good news is we captured the planet. The bad news is we're purging them off of the planet. I guess that's also good news. So here we go. We've got um, two Satusians uh, as administrators, and then 20 of their population getting wholesale slaughter murdered because that's what we do uh i am going to blow up all of the infrastructure here because there's no one to work here yet because they're getting purged but that's one planet down many planets to go tau seti is ours and uh that is going to be named the well skyra you already have you know what your territory is lost so this will be the skyra Skyra Graystorm and Link Conorm, Link, whatever you are, Prime. You have your own planet now. Now, the only pro problem is this planet is tropical. So we have an ocean preference. So we're going to need to terraform this thing like as soon as possible. And, um, uh, yeah, I don't, um, I don't have the technology to be able to terraform planets that are currently inhabited unlocked yet. But oh my god, that felt good. Blowing up their stupid planet or invading their stupid planet felt delicious. If delicious was a feel. Ah, <sighs> yes. Ah, uh, hydrate. Cheers. Oh, another thing I need to do is, um... Oh, Lavis Mandate is gone. Uh, I have too many star bases now. So I gotta pick one to blow up. I guess small street. Because I just have a bigger bastion, one over. So as soon as my fleets repair, I'm going against Themel. I'm gonna pummel Themel. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We grow ever stronger. You might be overwhelmingly stronger, but you're tactically morons. So, uh, oh my God, look at the science here. Holy, I need a scientist up there. Stat. Where is my sciency people? You get up there. Oh, but I don't have a clear path. That would explain it. Because they took Repo. Because of Bordergore. I hate Bordergore. Hey, Magic Hippie. Thanks for gifting out subs. And Elin, thanks for the bits. Welcome, everybody. You, uh... You're, you're, you are amazing. Alright, here we go. Devil. Homeworld, here we go. I am so excited. Let's hope that there is not, like, a god stack of uh, troops guarding it. So that we can actually invade it and take it. Oh my god, that would feel so good. And then what we could do, even if we don't get to keep it, is we could completely blow up all the infrastructure once we capture it, so that if they do take it back, it's like worthless to them for a long, long time. Uh, my Empire Sprawl is becoming ridiculous, though. Uh, so I'm going to have to remedy that soon. Because I'm at a massive research and unity disadvantage. But that's fine. Blow them up. Blow them up. 
fleet engaged. All right, I'm Give trying to hold my fleet back. Oh, and this isn't even a strong bastion. Ha <laughs> you guys are screwed. No, turn around, you drunk, blithering idiots. There we go. I want to strike their station at the same time. So, Them does have a garrison. Uh, so, Skyra, let's have you roll out armies to invade. This is what happens when butterflies mess with fish. Float like a butterfly, sting like a stingray. All oh, seminar, what's going on? Are all your fleets way east? Nowhere near where they need to be? I know how that feels. Oops! I did it again. I shot up your station. Let's let the purge begin. <laughs> oh, this feels so good. At this point, I honestly could just lose the game and still feel like I won. I won a moral victory today. Uh, so I'm going to have this fleet repair as fast as they can. Ow, freaking Zach Dyer. All right, you're fired. You went all arrested development on me. Let's put in a... Ugh, you all suck. Why am I just all... You're all bad. There. What is your name going to be? You are the magic hippie general. That does not instill a lot of confidence. Alright, magic hippie. You know how to fight. You know how to win. Do your thing. So as soon as I should be able to start repairing at the Themel station, um, it's right now. Let's make sure our ships are repairing. They're not. Uh, I don't know why this keeps bugging out for me, but at least the game's load in a literally seconds. That way I can get my fleets repaired and then start bombarding their home planet uh, with reckless abandon because I don't see that they have a fleet anywhere near me. This is, they're like, they're just not defending their own stuff, which is hilarious. So I'm swinging for the moon right now. Um, all right, so the scientists that I wanted in the southern border, there we go. And then I'll get another scientist up north. I have so much border gore. I, again... <laughs> oh, well. Bye, zeros. Ah, oh, man. I'm really happy to be punching a massive hole in Themlar right now because they're so much scarier now that they've purged the zeros. Repair faster. Alright, so we're going to do indiscriminate orbital bombardment. Where we just bomb everything. We don't care what we're bombing. And then as soon as we lower their... Uh, their defenses at them, I will invade. Oh. And as I do that, the excitement that my admirals had at the thought of bombing Them's homeworld, they had a heart attack and died. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's ridiculous. Uh, so the disappearance of the 001s means that their fleets here, this 8k fleet, which is super, super scary, is going to be coming back to me. I don't know if they're going to come through my territory and border gore me more or go around the north way. But either way, they're, they're a long time out from being able to do anything about me bombing them. Technology so I'm going to terror bomb them as fast as I can 
to soften them up as much as I can because it's my only way forward. We grow ever stronger. So here you can see we're terror bombing them. Well, not technically terror bombing. That's something different. But all of my Corvettes are orbital bombarding them. And then I'm also trying to build up an army to invade them. So my army's strength right now is... I've got 11 armies, and they have... Five, six, seven, eight. They have eight, but there's a massive defensive advantage when you're the defender on a planet that has infrastructure. So we either need to build up a larger army or we need to um, bombard their planet for it to be weaker. Here you go, dude. That's for you. And we have added all the southern territory, so now we don't have any holes in our galaxy, in our uh, so, uh, empire. We have Bordegor again. Bordegor, um, I guess I should explain. Bordegor is when your borders all like cut up and ugly and not contiguous. So we have a whole lot of Bordegor. Uh, the Connies just closed their borders to me. That's not good. I am in no position to defend against them. The Themlar will never learn to behave, Skyra, because they are, um... They are fanatic purifiers. They can never, ever, ever, ever be nice to anyone by design. Fanatical purifiers will... Can only purify. They only want to purge. So, they will never, ever be good neighbors. Oh, you were joking. Okay. I just want to explain, like, there is never peace with that. Like, there's no such thing as peace with a purifier. They, they only know how to purify, so... They have to be dealt with. We grow ever with um, insecticides. <laughs> Alright, and then up here I wanted another scientist to do uh to do research on all the debris that I have. So let's get another excuse me. Let's get another science ship up there. Uh, so Poetic Artist is investigating the Arasian uh, homeworld now. Aras. And another thing I'm going to want down there is a construction ship, too. So, I'll roll that out. So Them is now 10%, or almost 10%, devastated. Oh! Crap, 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 crap! Their fleet's here! All right, falling back to Skyra Graystorm. I think my two fleets plus the giant bastion that is at Skyra could defeat their fleet, but it would be very close. Man, they got here way faster than I thought they would. Run! Well, still, I uh, it felt good. Alright, Will, what are you talking about? Just get out. Oh, I think it's in reference to the uh, station. What are you guys not leaving for? Uh, 31. Okay. They are trying to leave. I clicked too many times. Oh, yeah, there they go. So now what I want to do is try to bait that massive fleet into attacking me here using the Bastion as a method for winning. And also, let's get rid of this Hydroponics Bay. I don't need that. Uh, new tradition. New tradition. We could do... So unyielding would... Um... Unyielding is sort of like defending your own territory, especially Bulwark of Harmony. So that's a possibility. It doesn't really help when you're stronger than everyone else because it really is only a defending territory uh, uh, tradition. Uh, prosperity would be good for mining and job resources and whatnot. 
Mercantile would be good for trade value. Uh, Harmony would be good for uh, leader, lifespan, governing ethics, attraction, and stability. Uh, adaptability would be for habitability and building slots and that kind of stuff, food. And then lastly, domination would be good to become, uh, to vassalize and, and tributize enemies at some point. We would never be able to do that against the Themlar because they're purifiers and they can never be a vassal, but against other potential future enemies, that's a possibility. So here's the new traditions, and uh, give me one second. I'll be back in just a sec. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Air conditioning was on because it's pretty warm out today and I turned it off because Yoda was very cold. So in yielding our prosperity. Okay, cool. Now, let's see. Are they coming? Nope, they're turning back around. I don't know why, but sure. There's a possibility of me trying to get to Grokken because Grokken might be, not be as well defended against me as um, Themel was. Or, alternatively, waiting for them to be absent again and hit them with a big army that can um, do devastating amounts of damage very, very, very quickly and just invade immediately and not have to uh, bombard or anything like that. So, you guys... Prosperity Bowen vote. I'm going to wait for either it to tie in for me to flip a coin or for... Uh, yeah. Or for that to settle out. Project done. Not so special now, was it? So we have just discovered the Erasian homeworld that gave us twenty uh, artifacts, a bunch of unity, a minor artifact action unlocked secrets of the Erasians, and um, physics, minerals, etc., etc. So now. I have the Javorian Pox. Oh, ho, 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 ho. this unlocks Pox Orbital Bombardment Stance, which allows me to basically bio warfare against my enemies. Yep. 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 So when I when I click this button, it costs me. Uh, it costs me some influence. It enables the Pox Orbital Bombardment so I can bug bomb the potential enemies here. I, uh, no complaint. No complaint. We found the pest spray. <laughs> yes, we did. All right, I'm going to resolve this through uh, a coin flip. So in yielding will be heads. Prosperity will be tails, and it's tails. So adopting this gives my mining stations 20% additional output. Finishing it gives all of my uh, resources from jobs, 5%, stability, 5%, ascension perks, plus one, but you get that for everyone. And then um, a lot of this is like reduced upkeep, increased housing, uh, more specialist output, that kind of thing. Prosperity is really good in the long run, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so here's that scientist that I wanted for the debris. And... Where is AK Dev? Okay, AK Dev is at Tenering Prime. I'm gonna delete that ship and stick them into this one at Cetus. 
And now I can do the debris projects. So I don't know where their fleet went, which is a little weird. But they just, like, took off. Um, but I think my best way forward at this point would be to... Let me figure this out. So, currently, these ships have hyperdrive 2s, ion thruster 2s. I've most researched plasteel. So, refitting them only adds plasteel armor, which is nice, but not necessary. Um, trying to think of what the best way forward would be. Honestly, the best way forward, because of the wins I've made, would be uh, like a status quo, but they're not ready to status quo just yet. Would adding more ships be effective? Yes. And I just did that, actually. So, in an ideal world, I'd like to capture Skyra, Randalthor, Repo, and Cosalite. But as soon as I leave Skyra, they come in with an 8k fleet and they retake it. And that's a pretty good trophy right there, because it's something I captured from them. Uh, so I think... Yeah. And, and given how strong their fleets were, I definitely need both of my fleets here to have any hope of actually defending it. So I think what thing, one thing I can do is, once these guys are repaired, which they guess they are, is start to harass their other territories. And where's my fleet engaged? Oh, there are AKs back over here. How do they move this quick? They must have two 8K fleets. That uh, They must have a 16K fleet strength. That's the only... They didn't get there... Seized. Yeah. They, did, they didn't get there that fast. I don't, I don't think this wormhole connects to something here. Because I would have noticed. So they must... They just must have um, a 16K fleet strength, which is... Uh, which is honestly very scary. That's that's so huge. So yeah, let's let's guerrilla warfare. I think is the way forward, and we're going to continue to um, to pot shot and invade and mess with them as much as we can. Come here, Tusk. I want to pet you. Come we here. grow ever stronger. She's not very smart. Hostile station engaged. Why is it? You know, I don't own a Skellion. Why do they keep telling me that I'm like getting attacked by them? I'm not. They're nowhere near my territory. This is really strange. So I just took Weir from them. Uh, I'm going to try to take Grokken and go to... Yes, 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 yes. This is a easy target. Pinned Ra Vosk is not very well defended. So I'm going to send my armies over to, to nab that quickly. Because they've left it very we exposed. And they're about to get a lot of border war because I'm about to split their to west and east in half. Because there's no there's no uh, hyperlanes that go east-west other than Grokken and Weir. And if I take Rock and Weir, they have nothing left. Loots from enemy wrecks seized. And then if I don't see that massive fleet come back, uh, once I repair at Grokken... Here, group up. Once I repair at Grokken, what I will do is I will uh, activate the pox and go nuke them as much as I can. Wow, I have another tradition already. I think probably the best tradition for me right now in Prosperity Tree would be the Pursuit of Profit. So I'm going to get the prerequisite to the Pursuit of Profit, which is the Building Upkeep and District Upkeep reduced 10%. Because Pursuit of Profit increases the Specialist Output resource by 5%, which helps me make more alloys and consumer goods, which I am um, don't have a lot of.
I don't see that mega fleet yet. And one of the other benefits is the more I uh, capture their territory and their um, their home worlds, the further I put up the war score. So the sooner I might be able to sue, sue for peace and like actually put a feather in my cap for once. But they are they are losing hard here. They're conceding a lot because I just don't know where they are. So there goes another, and the army just arrived to invade. All right, Magic Hippie, lead the way. Did they get in another war, perhaps? No, I kind of doubt it. Nope, they're only at war with me. Anomalous space time so I don't know what they're doing. Ahead. I don't know what they're doing, but uh, I love it. I love that they're completely absent. They definitely haven't turned into a crisis. I think it's too early for that. Although we are coming pretty close to the 2300 mid-game crisis. But they're they're not the... They're not the grand shores. crisis because there'd be resolutions about that. They're just, uh... They're just purifiers trying to purify. And failing to do so pretty severely. Because I'm still here. Right, let's see if I have to log and reload to repair. Nope. I think it's actually because I don't I'm sitting on it. I have to fly away and come back. Our landing party has crushed the enemy. There goes another planet. Uh Weir and Grokken need names, so Weir, you are gonna be known as the Cheese Radar Deluxe. Actually, Cheese, I'm gonna give you Grokken. So that I can have the a planet of cheese. And welcome. Good morning. Cheese. Prime. And now that I have cheese prime, time to blow it up. And then the other one is a uh, planet you already have something named after you. Shake and Bakes. Dude, where are they? I mean, I don't mind. It's not a complaint. I'm just a little concerned. Very strange that they just be missing. Uh, this station, I'm just gonna blow up. <clears throat> it's above my capacity, and it was only an anchorage, so I don't really care. And then, uh... Deku. Cool. Yeah, I'm... I'm. It's, this is working. Oh, this needs to be in another sector. So let's throw a governor in there. And this governor... Oh, I have two governors to name. So governor number one is going to be Bonap. Governor number two... It's going to be Dragonmark 1. And Bonup, you're going to now be the Governor of Cheese. Time to clean up Bordegore again? I think, as much as I'd like to clean up Bordegore, um, if I want to do the most damage against the Purifiers, uh, blowing up their homeworld or invading their homeworld is definitely... Uh, so much better than anything else I could possibly do, because homeworld is everything. So that's the plan right now, because their homeworld looks undefended. So what I'm doing is I'm just waiting for my two fleets to repair, which they're about to fully repaired. Actually, they're good enough. Let's go to Themlar. The moment I blow up the outpost or the um, the starhold at Themlar, I'll be turning on Pox and blowing up Them as fast as I can. You're just feeling a bit empathetic at the moment? Shouted the pride of the enemy fleets. Yeah, that's uh, going for the heart. I am I'm ready to, to literally bug bomb them. Who thought like an hour ago that I would be here 
striking at the heart of the um, the Themlar Empire. I, I would not have thought. A system has been charted. Thank you for tuning in to the Centusion Imperium, which originally streamed live on Twitch January 1st. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. Discord has a method to sign up for events and notifications, and the link can be found in the description or at Rodamont.com. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to all of my Twitch subscribers, Patreon patrons, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, friends.